Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations and peace and blessings to the elect, pushing the truth of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, um, this lesson is dealing with, uh, it's titled, Neglect Not the Gift That Is in Thee. Right, and uh, this is a lesson I wanted to do for uh, a little while. You know, the spirit pressed me towards it, basically dealing with the fact that whatever gift the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahushai imparted into you, you don't neglect it. You know, so from the smallest, from the smallest gift really to the to the largest. You know. And uh, there are many gifts in this truth, right? One of the greatest gifts that uh, really I can say that we all start off on is faith because we all, you know, unless, unless you're really, you know, playing yourself and you know why you came in this truth, which is to joke, right? Or to uh, be j just be part of something. But otherwise, if you really just got swept off your feet, so to speak, and, and just drawn to this and you know just wholeheartedly believe believe in it that is a gift in itself that is faith and that is one of the greatest gifts and you build that throughout your adversities in the truth right it's it's supposed to multiply through the adversities that you face within the truth right um so first i'm gonna i'm actually gonna get the word neglect the word neglect is from the uh, 1520s, from Latin neglectus, past participle of negligere, to make light of, disregard, be indifferent to, right? Not heed, not trouble oneself about, literally not to pick up. A variant of negligere from old Latin nec, meaning not, legere, pick up, meaning, you know, you, you take... As it says, there's different words you can describe it as make light of or don't trouble yourself. But basically it means don't pick it up. Meaning it's right in front of you. The gift is right there, but you don't use it um, for whatever reason. You know, you may think it's too, you know, it's, it's not important or you may, wanna, you may want other gifts that other brothers have. But those things might not be for you. Right? Those things might not be for you. Those things... Um, uh, or you or you might have to build up to those things which we all have to build up to in, in our daily progression right and it's truth um, right so so back to uh, I'm going to read first Timothy 4 and 10 it says for therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living power who is the savior of all men especially of those that believe these things command and teach let no man despise thy youth but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation in charity and spirit in faith in purity and that is another point in this truth if you're if you're a young man in this truth uh, don't let nobody despise you being young because there's many examples of different prophets being young a main prophet which has one of the greatest books in the Bible is Jeremiah he was a very young man he could have been 12 13 14 years old and he went up to high priests and kings and princes and started cursing them out right um, I, I myself I entered this truth as a young man and at times I can tell you do feel a little weird or out of place but you have to remind yourself that you know this thing isn't about nothing carnal man it's not about truth uh it's not about how you look it's you know it's, it's dealing with with just that which is truth right um so dealing with that you're not supposed to let anyone despise that right if someone brings it up uh you, you let them know the deal right that, that this thing isn't about oh I, I, I'm, I'm older than you so i can do this you know um you know, it's just, if the Most High put the Spirit on you, then no one can deny it, man. No one, can, you know what I mean? No one can say anything, really. Verse 13, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. So you're supposed to exhort in this truth. You brothers, you're supposed to read in this truth. Read the scriptures, study. Study to show that self-approved. 
so you won't be found ashamed, man, or be ashamed. Verse 14, neglect, this is the point, neglect not the gift that is in thee. And that's, and that's the whole point of this, uh, of, this, of this lesson, is don't neglect the gift, right? Whatever, whatever uh, gift you got, don't neglect it. If you're a post holder, like I said, build up to, 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 to what the Spirit's telling you, you know, you'd be a reader or a speaker or whatever. Don't just jump on it and say, yeah, or, or, or leave the camp, or yeah, I wanted to do this, and you know, you build up to those things, man. You don't rush it. A lot of, a lot of guys rush this truth, and, and that is not beneficial to anyone, man, especially yourself, right? It says, verse 14, neglect not the gift that is indeed, meaning don't make light of any gift that you have. It says, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery, which presbytery meaning elder or elders. So they laid hands on you, meaning they, you know, they took you in and, and, and they taught you the truth. And you find out who you are in this truth, right? You find out, you examine yourself, you, uh, you know, uh, uh, you meditate and, 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 and you know, you uh, find out these, these things about who you are and what your purpose is in this truth, what your lot is. Because we're all of the same body so we're supposed to operate you know and 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 all those operations aren't the same just like you have the human body uh you have different organs and and, and different systems that work right but they all work to a purpose man you see you know you you got the uh, lymphatic system the digestive system uh, uh the immune system right all those things are different but yet they all complement and benefit each other right it says verse 15 meditate upon these things give thyself wholly to them that thy profiting may appear to all meaning you meditate on these things up that paul is writing man and he's writing to timothy you have to meditate on these things and um you know uh when you meditate on these things then you understand oh, okay you know that's why i'm not i'm not supposed to rush you know I'm not, I'm not supposed to do this, that thy property may appear to all. Because if you don't, if you do neglect your gifts, you're not going to profit anybody, man. You know, you're not going to profit to the body. You're not going to profit to the camp. Uh, uh, you know, you're just going to be a, you know, just an extra, man. An extra in the movie. You know, and, and extras are so disposable and, you know, they're, they're just nothing, man. You know? So it doesn't matter, man. If you're a camera hole, whatever, man. Just just build yourself up. Some some brothers, man, they they they're just uh, uh, there to um, to to have the most minute tasks, but it keeps the body functioning. It keeps the whole thing. It, it keeps the uh, engine greased, so to speak. You know, keeps the uh, wheels greased, right? You're not there, not everyone's there to be a super duper Israelite. And really, this truth is not being a super duper Israelite. This truth is about just pushing the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Right? It says, Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. And then it says, verse uh, 16, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. So he says, Take heed unto thyself. That's why in Corinthians it says, Examine thyself. So you take heed unto yourself, man. What are you good at? What are you, what are you this and that? You know, and it's all about balance, man. You know, you, you, you don't say, oh, I was good in this in the world, so I guess that, that, that'll just translate. No, man, that, that, that doesn't always translate like that. You know, it doesn't always, it, it doesn't work out like that. If, you had, if you're a guy that has worldly knowledge, you can't translate those things into the world, uh, into the scriptures most of the time, into this truth. That's not going to happen. All right? Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee so meaning just play your role man you know and if you don't know your role that's what it says take heed unto thyself right it says meditate upon these things you're supposed to meditate and pray to you about lord what do you want me to do in this truth you know if you if you if you really don't know what you're doing you know if you're if you're just thinking that um oh i'm, I'm just i'm not doing anything and but you're actually doing something and that says that's what it says take heed you know um and then i'm gonna get one more scripture this is in sirach 11 verse 11 
right? It says, there is one that laboreth and taketh pains and maketh haste and is so much the more behind. You know, that's a guy that, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm a small guy, you know, I want to I wanna be bigger. You know, I'm, I'm going to push myself to the limit, you know, study revelations and, and, and study, Dan, you know, just show these guys that I know something. That's why it says, there's one that laboreth and taketh pains and maketh haste and is so much the more behind. You see, because you're just, you're just putting yourself behind, man. You know, j just like any discipline you do, you, you start, you start going, uh, he man, fucking, you know, just trying to show everybody you're a badass. That's not going to work. That's not how, how this truth works. Right? This thing doesn't work that way. Verse 12, again, there is another that is slow and has need of help. Wanting ability, right? M meaning he wants to do, he wants to participate, he, want, he, he wants to have skill and technique in his truth. But he is slow, he takes his time, he doesn't haste. He doesn't, he doesn't be presumptuous, he doesn't make bad ch uh, d uh, decisions. And most likely when you make bad decisions is when you haste, is when you, is when you uh, hurry things up. And full of poverty, yet the eye of the Lord looked upon him for good and set him up from his low estate and lifted up his head from misery so that many that saw from him is peace over all. Slakia, it must have skipped uh, in this app. All right. But that was the point though, right? Um, and that was really the point of the lesson. I hope your brothers were edified. The point is, again, don't neglect the gift. Don't haste. This is the spirit in Israel that's going on right now. Everyone who wants to be a leader, everyone, wa everyone wants to do their own thing. Um, you got guys just doing whatever the fuck they want to do. You know, and, um, you know, that's not how Yahweh Bashim Yahusha set this thing up, man. This, this thing takes patience. It, it takes uh, a faith. It takes endurance, man. It takes enduring. It takes... You know, it takes a lot of effort, man. This thing is not an overnight thing. So you guys that have been in truth for a year, two years, and you guys just buck up and, 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 and oh, this is taking too long, man. The, 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 this is a growing process, just like any discipline. You, you, you think you've been in the truth for one year, go, go do a discipline in the world and, and see what one year gets you, man, you know? What, you know what I mean? Go to a fucking gym and, and start boxing and see what one year is and then go fucking spar with an Olympian boxer, man. Never mind the pro boxer. Go spar with an Olympian boxer and see what the fuck happens. You guys aren't ready for that, man. So you guys are trying to get in the ring with the elders and apostles and try to spar with them, man. You, you're getting beat down, man. You, you, you're getting you're getting, you're getting a jab, cross, hook, fucking <laughs> uppercut. You're getting knocked out, man, before you can even throw anything, you know? So with that... I want to say Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai, all right, and, um, you know, all praises 